guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm a Russian American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews of affordable and expensive makeup, but in today's video, I'm reviewing a not very affordable but something I needed to get immediately when I saw this. And this is the new Alexa Stone Sensorium Beauty Palette, Chapter 1. This looks like this. And I'm going to be reviewing it, watching it, and I'm going to be doing this look using a lot of shades from a palette. <laughs> so if you guys are interested to see how it works, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all new videos I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also go live every Monday. So do follow me on all social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, subscribe, comment, and let's get right into this. So before we start the video, let me do a birthday shout out. One of my patrons, her name is Heidi, her birthday is September 3rd. This is a little bit in advance, but I might not be releasing video on that day because, yeah, long story, I'm getting my eyebrow tattoo removed again for the second time so it'll take me out for days so i might not be able to film so i'm gonna say it right now happy birthday heidi a little early in advance but i hope you have a wonderful birthday and celebrate enjoy have fun love you thank you for being in my patreon group so let's get right into this video so as you guys know i usually review inexpensive makeup that's my shtick pretty much uh, sometimes I get into the more pricey bougie items. I've been kind of dabbling, you know, expanding my taste. <laughs> my taste has gotten very expensive, <laughs> dangerously. But I still like my inexpensive makeup, like Profusion, like uh, Makeup Revolution, some of it, some of Elf, you know, things that really work from those brands. But uh, I've been following Alexa Stone for years and years before I started watching any YouTube videos on beauty, uh, any beauty gurus or any reviews or any of that stuff. I never watched the reviews before I started watching uh, drag queens on YouTube because I've always been into uh, uh, art of drag and Alexa Stone, the art of transformations. I started watching her way before I started to watch any other beauty reviews like what I'm doing pretty much, but I consider myself a A5 drag queen as well because I like to do drag looks on my channel, so I kind of do both. And Alexis has been my inspiration for years and years. You can watch my, watch my Friday video, which I do Fridays are drag, uh, where I do drag in transformations into famous drag queens, or sometimes I do my own drag look. So Friday, I dabbled in uh, special effects, barely, <laughs> to create Alexis Stone prosthesis. Uh, uh, cheeks, so I, I use wax. I mean, long story. The link is going to be here so you can watch me try to appear as Alexis Stone. And I use this palette on Friday, so I used a lot of shades. But this is the official review. I'm going to show you the swatches and everything. This is uh, retailing for $55.95. And I went to Sensorium Beauty US website, they have US warehouse, so they ship directly. This is the 36 shade palette that says 29 pure pigment matte shades and 7 transformative shimmers. So it says designed by consumers, finished by Alexis Stone. And yes, Shangela is so hungry and she's feeling very naughty. Shangela. So <laughs> never mind the cat. So it's still available for purchase. Uh, uh, $55.95 at 36 shades, I think it's not bad. I mean, for affordable makeup, of course, it's expensive, but it's absolutely worth it. And you agree, Shangel? You agree? Of course you agree. This is Alexa Stone makeup. You gotta like this. What do you guys think? What do you think? Sniff, sniff, sniff. You like it? Please don't need eyeshadow. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna show you swatches on my arm. I could not use my husband for this video because this is too special for me. So I smear it all over my arms with no primer on them. What are we smearing here? Don't distract mama, mama's doing the video. <laughs> and yes, Shangela is playing. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm very distracted right now. I'm tired, I'm hungry. So is my cat and my husband. So, the hell. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the swatches. I'm gonna move over here and the swatches are gonna be here. So it swatches wonderfully, even on unprimed arm. The shimmers are unbelievable. Some of the toppers like this do, uh, just freakishly like a dual girl me, amazing. Uh, so you'll see the video here. It performs the eyes even better. As I always say, swatches are just swatches. I don't know why even people want them. To me, I don't even really like to watch swatches usually, because I like to watch the eyeshadow perform on the eyelid, on the primer, the way it's supposed to. And the arm doesn't really tell you the story. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. You'll see the application and then my final thoughts at the end. So let's roll. Okay, let's try this. So this is the real deal, the real tea. I'm trying almost every single color. Well, let's not be that dramatic. I'm trying a lot of single colors in this palette. So I'm gonna use mostly mattes because I think uh, the shimmer's amazing. And I used three of them in the Alexis Stone inspired makeup on Friday. But today I want to really dip into all the mats because mats are so delicious. So we're gonna go for it and I'm gonna go ham as usual. That's how I roll on my channel. So paralysis is first. I like to dip into black first because I feel like every black always stands out better and always gives you a nice deep deep base. So I'm gonna do the classic Elaine and Glam look very blown out, very much all the way into the temple. So I already got Billy's base on. I'm gonna start by snatching the shape. Snatched up. Black is real black, excellent. Dip in the same brush after I clean the metal into somber. Somber is like a deep, deep teal. So I'm gonna start to get into the somber vein and arouse, so like dip into all the blues. So if you, you guys are watching this on Monday, so Tuesday, tomorrow, I'm gonna be going in for my second session of uh, laser treatment for the eyebrow tattoo removal. It's very, very painful, but very short. It's literally a few seconds, so it wasn't bad in that way, but Recovery was worse than I was thinking. I was thinking maybe it's gonna be like a little red. No, girl, my eyebrows, my whole eye was swollen shut here, here, in my cheek, like everything was swollen so badly. I was like, what the heck? So that would take me out for a few days. So I might not be able to put out the video from Wednesday, we'll see. So, because I kind of been busy. <laughs> Next is blue. I'm using another brush. This is a Moda brush. The first was a Morphe brush, just about the same size. This one's slightly bigger. So I'm going into the vein, right over the first color. It is beautiful. Everything blends so perfectly. I did not expect anything less from Alexis Stone. I mean, when you are a brilliant artist like Alexis Stone, you better have great makeup to stand behind because you know everybody expects perfection from her and there is really really perfect blend here i'm dipping the same brush into aroused just to kind of lighten up a little bit excuse the noise i'm doing the laundry i don't know if you heard that my dry just went off so next I'm going into the greens, uh, Mo Molecule and Neuro. And watch out, when I go Molecule and then Neuro, Neuro is like, ah, it's gonna blow away your mind. And then Serotonin, oh my god, that's probably my favorite. It's like neon, neon, I don't think I have any, any neon colors in my collection at all like this. This is something special, I was like, wow, this is freaky, insane. Thank you, Alexa Stone. I really needed that. So, Molecule, trying to see if I'm matching the other eye. Probably not, but we'll see. 
I always make it match at the end. And we're going to Neuro on the same brush. Look at that. Look at Neuro. I'm just adding Neuro. It's like BAM in your face. That's incredible. Oh my god. And going into Serotonin. In a bigger brush, that's Spectrum B11. The other one uh, was Spectrum A12. Just do, using different brands, pretty much about the size. It's all about the size. And I'm going to take serotonin all the way here. Oh, this just makes me so happy. This kind of color. So next I decided to go into the purple pink. Not too much purple, mostly like a warm pink. Because I wanted inner corner to be bright rather than dark. So I'm gonna go into purple a little bit, hallucinate. And then into pretense. So those are the colors I used on Friday uh, for the Friday video. I'm using a small brush. This is Spectrum 828. And I dip into the purple. Just tap it on here. And I'm gonna go immediately into pretense with the same brush. That is beautiful, beautiful pink. Just perfection. So I wanted to put the mats inside of the eye as well, so I cut the crease with the beauty base. Beauty Bay base, that's a white one, because I want it to be really bright and stand out. I'll use a flat brush first for the yellow, and then for the orange and red I'm going to use different brushes. So mellow yellow, I'm going to use endorphin, and we're going to use a little bit of sensory here. Just trying to remember what I did in the other eye because it's always a problem. <laughs> and a little bit of feral, feral, the brown. So and my cat Shangela is trying to jump on my table. He's looking. There's makeup all over my table. He's like, I'm gonna jump. Here comes the trouble. So we're gonna use more the brush, a small brush, and I'm gonna go for the iodine. And look at that orange. Oh girl, that is bright orange. That's pretty much going to orange and red and blending all of the colors now. Thank you. Thank you. Baby came to say hello. I knew he was gonna make an appearance. He made an appearance. This is my baby Shangela. Full name is Shangela. If you haven't met him yet, who wants to say hello? Alright, go on. Do whatever you want to do now. Oh, yes. He wants a Q-tip. He always likes Q-tip. He already knocked it off on the floor. Where is the Q-tip? <laughs> anyway, we're going to highlight the brow bone. And for this time, I used uh, a lot of shimmers last time, so I'm going to use now Stimuli and we're gonna highlight and this is pretty incredible you'll see Ooh. there goes Shangela I think you found the q-tip on the floor now what is it with cats and q-tips why are they so obsessed with them or cotton buds like we call them in UK Alright, so now I'm gonna blend this uh, over here and then I'm gonna go with the low lash line. Now I'm gonna take a bunch of small brushes and I'm gonna go into... I wanted to make it real warm under here. So uh, I'm gonna go back to endorphin and iodine and some more brown foral. foral. Me with my Russian accent, never know how to pronounce things correctly, but I don't know what they mean. <laughs> okay, so let's go with uh, endorphin first. Okay, so this is the blend. I put some neutral, uh, just a flesh tone liner in the waterline. This is eyeliner from Beauty Bay. And I put some Midas Cosmetics white cake liner in the crease just to give it some graphic look. I might add some more lines, like I'm feeling like adding some graphic lines to this look because it's so neon, so bright, just needs something extra. So let me finish my face makeup 
and I'll be back. I'll discuss the final results. And I, I think my eyebrows are turning green already. I don't know what what it is about uh, me concealing my eyebrow tattoo, and I go with NYX uh, eyebrow pen, lift and snatch in the color caramel. And caramel is like a warm color, but after a few minutes, it turns green. I might have to add some ash brown, but anyway, enough complaining. I'll be right back. So this is a finished eye look. I did make it extra special with the double wing kind of thing. This is Midas Cosmetics, just a cake liner in white. And that's what we got. I put some more highlight in the inner corner and I used the color Illusion for this. And the lips is pretty much a nude lipstick with a bunch of eyeshadow on it. I used orange and yellow yellowish eyeshadow, intellect and uh, iodine and I'll put some lip gloss over it. I use the cheap AF dollar store bought golden lip gloss LA colors. I don't know if it has asbestos in it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, look at the pigmentation though, look at this blend. This is a blend with no effort, like literally it, like every time I say oh it blends like a dream, everything is fine. You know, it's hard to find bad eyeshadow in my experience. I mean there's some cheap brands, like sometimes perfusion comes up with some coupon. But this was like it's so incredible and it's so pigmented and just stays there and blends. Alexis, you did this. However, you created this formula, you did excellent. Gorgeous. And this neon color, like this neon color, I've never had a neon like this. Never ever. This is just incredible. So, this is a finished look. I can't recommend you enough this palette. This is beautiful. I might be a little partial to Alexa Stone. Elliot, I've been following you. If you ever watch this, I've been following you for years and years and years. And, you know, I followed you through all the kind of drama and the good things and the bad things. And, uh, I love you as an artist and I wish you all the good luck and all well. My favorite, favorite thing I would say are the neons because the neon colors are nothing like nothing I've seen before. I don't know if you guys own any palettes that actually are neon like this. This is the first time this shadow, especially these two, the green and the yellow, like a limey color. Those two colors are like bam in your face. Just freaking unbelievable. That is so beautiful. I'm living for this. And the shimmers, like everything about it. I cannot recommend you more to get this palette. It ships very fast from US warehouse. So if you're in US, you can get it with no problems. And of course, if you're in the UK, it's even easier because this brand is uh, based in UK, of course. So I'll go to Sensorium Beauty. Uh, check it out. I'm gonna link this below in the description box. I mean, you know where to go. If you see any spots, I was an idiot and I dropped water. I was squeezing out my sponge and I dropped some droplets. I hope I didn't ruin it. Looks like it works. <laughs> I just got it. I already ruined it. It is beautiful. Everything. The black is black. The white is extremely white opaque. Uh, as you can see in my Friday video. I mean, I'm so, so impressed. I've tried so much makeup. I mean, I have tons of makeup because of my YouTube channel, but this is going to be like one of my babies. So beautiful. So I got to stop blubbering about it because when I'm impressed, I start going over and over and over and then I have to edit myself out. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you gotten it? It's not a cheap one and I usually feature inexpensive brands on my channel for the few ex exceptions, the ones I really, really care about and I'm really interested to get, like this one. I had to get uh, the chapter one Sensorium palette just because I, I love the art and I know uh, Elliot, he is the true makeup artist and Alexis Stone is the most fierce drag queen. So. Let me know what you think, leave me a comment below and uh, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Click the like button below and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. Do ring notification bell so you get notified of all the new videos I upload. So huge thank you to all my patrons. 
Thank you guys for your support and thank you for being here for me. I have a Patreon group, we have Telegram chat, we have Facebook group. So do check it out if you guys are interested. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all the links are down below. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!